Hi, Flamingos. Our last book in the Create Trilogy. So our last book in the trilogy would be the third book. We've read the first book, which was uh, The Dot, the second book, which was Ish, and the third book is Sky Color, okay? And we're reading these books to get some really great artistic inspiration and stimulate the right side of our brain, the creative side of our brain, right? To create our rendering of our invention here. So a rendering is a very careful drawing, right? And you're going to draw how you picture your invention in your head. You can Google image some things to, to get some ideas, right? You can use a ruler or a jar to, or a bowl or a plate to, do, to trace some lines if you, need, if you wanna have really straight lines um, and really nice circles. And you can practice on some scrap paper before you actually do your rendering because your rendering is gonna be a really careful drawing. You can use uh, colored pencils, crayons, uh, or markers. And remember, something that's a nice idea is to put a piece of paper behind your cover. So if you use something like markers, they won't go through. Um, this was the sunshine all the time convertible roof. And this is the rendering right here. Yeah. The rendering is the drawing of what your invention is going to look like, right? That's the architect's job. The architect is the designer and they use their right brains a whole lot to figure out what everything is going to look like. Okay. Are you guys ready? Last one. It's called Sky Color. And the author and the illustrator is the same person. It's Peter Reynolds, yeah? And the publisher, the, the company that made this book, so we have it here in our hands to read it, is Candlewick Press. Sky color. So this one is about Marisol. We read about Vashti in the dot. We read about Raymond in Ish. And now we're reading about his sister, Marisol, in sky color. Marisol was an artist. She loved to draw and paint, and she even had her very own art gallery. Not all her art hung in a gallery. No, much of it was shared with the entire world. She painted posters to share ideas that she believed in. This one says, save the oceans. At school, Marisol was famous for her creative clothes, her box of art supplies, and her belief that everybody, every single person, is an artist. Remember that, you're an artist. Yes, Marisol was an artist through and through. So when her teacher told the class that they were going to paint a mural for the library, Marisol could not wait to begin. The classroom buzzed with the sound of brainstorming. The students talked and they sketched. Together they made a great big drawing. And then they marched to the library. I'll paint a fish, I'll paint one too. I'll paint the ocean, Marisol shouted. I will paint the sky. The sky. So Marisol rummaged through the box of paint, but she couldn't find any blue. Right? That's the color of the sky most of the day, isn't it? How am I going to make the sky without any blue paint, Marisol asked. Well, the bell rang and it was time to put their brushes away for the day and Marisol climbed aboard the bus and she kept wondering and wondering and wondering how could she make the sky without blue paint? And all the way home, she stared out the window. Hmm. Looks like the sky is yellow and orangish. And the sun lowered closer to the horizon. Remember the horizon line is where the land meets the sky or the, so it's where the sky meets the land or the, the water, right? That line right there. So later at home, Marisol watched the day Turn into the night. You guys could do this tonight. I think it's going to be a really pretty sunset. Watch what happens to the sky when the day turns into night. And that night, Marisol settled into a deep, deep dream. She drifted through a sky of swirling, swirling color. The colors mixed, making many many, many 
many beautiful colors and there were too many to count. Look how beautiful. And in the morning, Marisol stood waiting for the bus in the rain. The sky was not blue and she smiled. Looks gray. When it rains outside, the sky looks gray, doesn't it? At school, Marisol raced to the library. She grabbed a dish and she began adding colors, this one and that one, and she swirled the brush to make an altogether new color. Marisol then began painting on the wall. A boy asked, what color is that? That, Marisol said, that is sky color. Look at that. Marisol's made the beautiful sky over the water. Isn't that nice? And it's not blue. There's a little bit of blue-ish in there, right? But it's all of the colors of the rainbow. And uh, Peter Reynolds dedicated this book to Aldo Servino, who took the blue paint away from me and helped me paint and think in sky color. So think differently. When you're drawing, if, if, you're machine, if you're making a robot or a machine, maybe your robot or machine is in gray. Maybe it's red with purple polka dots. Or maybe you're, you use all of the colors of the rainbow like I did to write the title of my invention. Think creatively, think outside the box. And how colorful and how snazzy can you make your invention rendering right here? Okay, so I want you guys to work on that today, um, and then we'll have our covers of our, our invention blueprints complete. So we have our inventor, our architect, our engineer, our studio, when it was created, and your title, and lastly, you're going to have your rendering here. So I'll work on my rendering today, and you guys work on yours. I can't wait to see your work. Hey, if you get a chance, take a picture and upload it or text it to me or email it to me. I can't wait to see your work, okay? Bye guys.